Now, I have a problem. I add too many games to my Steam wishlist. In fact, I have 6,932 games on there for some reason. Now, I need to get that number down. So today, I'm going to be playing five random games from my Steam wishlist. And every game, I get 10 minutes to play it. And that's it. And we can decide if it's good or not, or whether or not I want to play it in the future. So the first game, I've got a will to decide how I'm going to sort the wishlist first. So this will be based on price, discount, date added, etc. It's going to be a game that is discounted. So we go to our wishlist and we change it to be sorted by discount. You'll see these are all games that are on massive discount right now. Oh my god. We're then going to use a number picker wheel to decide what number down the wish list be the game that I am playing. And we've got number 71. You're playing game number 71. So now I've got to count down 71 times to find the 71st game on this list. Be right back. 69, 70, 71. Apartment 1406 Horror is 85p. We'll take that. A cheap game, 85p. Apartment 1406, an intense horror game that challenges you to constantly survive in a hostile environment. Collect items to survive against limited ammo and creatures that lurk in the dark. Solve the puzzles and survive in this dark game. Came out last year in August. Let's go. So it's got decent reviews. Look, pretty fun game for the price. This one says, I'm not scared. They are scared. Uh, it is not a bad game. Uh, nice little horror game with the price from the great arse eater. So you know what? This sounds like we're onto a winner. All right, 10 minute timer starts now. Press any key to continue. Oh. Aram, one person studio presents. Dreams can come at the least expected moments. And in my case, it happened along with a phone call from Professor Gabriel Blackwood. Be careful what you wish for. Not too bad for 85p so far. Okay, I don't like this bit though. It's apartment 1406. How have they spelled it wrong on top left when the actual game is called apartment? Um, so I've been asked to bring an old book. Uh, it didn't tell me why. It's very agitated. He mentioned that the book is a secret room and left clues there. So I'm off to find a book. Oh, I can see my feet. Damn. I hope the elevator's working. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I don't mind it. Not. Lifts out of all. Oh, achievement. Examine. Find a picture with elevator. How is that a picture? Not looking good, bruv. Oh, it's a wheelchair. Oh! <laughs> I got jumped to get by a cutscene. Oh, no, saying weird and squidgies up the stairs. What is it? What is it with the achievements in this game? Someone in corridor. Yes, it's true. Press tab to open invention menu. Cool. Examine. <laughs> Find the picture with the bricks. Are they all right with the achievements? Relax on the achievements. Is that? Looks like it's across. No, it's not. It's, oh, why is that coming down the stairs? You know what? 85 p's barking off so far. Oh. Ah! Hey. Have that, son. There's so many achievements. It must be one of those games that people use to get get tons of achievements. Okay, they're saying on the wall. The shadow of a man. But there's no one there. How is that possible? Ah! The f what happened? <laughs> Where, where's the face? Oh, on the back there is. Oh my god. Yeah. Is that a baby or is that an animal? What? Okay, you know what? I don't like this floor. There's... What the hell was that? How's this been one of the better horror games I've played in a while and nothing's happened yet other than the simple stuff? So there's good vibes to it. Where's my achievement? Come on. I'm kind of sad there's no achievement this time. There's a question mark maybe and then like an arrow. That, that's the apartment. That's all bricked up. Oh, someone's knocking on that one. Guess we're going in this apartment. Find a key to the door. Door is locked. I need to find the key. Uh, under, the, under the rug, maybe? What does it say? It says, Oh shit, not you again. What? Key! Take. Long door key. Knock. 
You all right, brother? Um. Wait, that's not. Is that a shadow? Is that a person? Restore power to the room in the electric box outside. Here, you find a key to the electric box. Is that hit here? You tap the door key. Why is it so high up? Power's back on. Oh! Looks like lots of shadows creeping around in this place. Yeah, because that's not creepy at all. It's like a little doll with red eyes on the shelf. Find a book in the secret room of the bookshelf. Okay. We'll do. Oh, there's some. There's loads of them on the wall. They're everywhere. Oh. The windows are broken in here. Oh, examine. Who's that? Find a postcard. Behind the gate, evil lurks and it's waiting for you. A bit easier if I did that, wouldn't it? <laughs> you alright? He's got a knife by his hand. He took the backpack. Find first rusty backpack. There's more than one rusty backpack. Backpacks get rusty. Examine. Wind is winding. Can I get out of here? Oh, that room's all like locked up, barricaded. Door is locked. Need to find the key. Hey, there's something going on in there. I don't, you shouldn't go in there. Key in here somewhere, maybe? Why have they all got knives next to them? Remove. Hello? Oh, okay, it's sank over here. All these dolls are staring at me, though. But they move. They move. What's this? Oh, combine the chalice with this button. I guess this is a, this is that. It's a small key. It's a button. I found the bathroom key. At, at least. Ooh, these broskies running in my apartment. Right, in the bathroom I go. Shh, it's okay. Right, uh, rusty axe take. And this is the chalice. Is that how you say it? Chalice, chalice, chalice. Yeah, what? I've got an axe. Let me ask you a question, as they say. Ooh. Oh, you ain't real. Oh, you are real. Oh, what the fuck? All the dolls are gone. Do I hit this first? Door is locked. Yeah, well, I'm trying to work out. I feel like I'm supposed to be putting the stuff on. It says combine the chalice with the button. Saying it's missing here. Yeah, I know, but how do you switch over? I swear that's what you got to do, no? Can't get in there. You just stared over here for some reason. You're not actually there. All the dolls are gone. There's nothing in this room. It's got to be the this. I'm combining it with the button. Why won't you do anything? No, the timer. I haven't worked out how to do this. I think I was missing the actual button. I don't know where the button is, but I think that's what I was missing. There's a button somewhere that I've just missed. Aha. Picked up small key. This is a toilet key and this was, this was it. Oh no. Wait, what? I found a toilet key. Okay, so it's a toilet and inside the toilet was a button. Oh no. Oh no, the spiders are everywhere. If you, oh my god, if you have arachnophobia, I'm sorry. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, my big head's in the way. Ah! Who was that? Hey, there's me. That's Mira. But anyway, time is up. On to the next game. Before we play the next game, let's leave a little review. So, played for 10 bids. Not too shabby for the price. Oh my god. That came out of my mouth. <laughs> Since when do I have those kind of voice cracks? Game number two. Wheel spin. Let's decide how we're sorting out the wish list this time. And this time it is going to be by price, which I think it means that there'll be a free game. And we are playing what number game today? What game are we playing? We are playing game number... 77? Bloody hell, make me count for so long. All right, game 77, let's go. One, two, three, 
Or five. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. Oh God. We are playing Pandemic Express Zombie Escape. It's a free to play game. Okay, let's have a look at the pictures. Oh, you know what? It doesn't look awful. It doesn't look awful. A group of humans try to outrun a player controlled swarm of infected. Everyone spawns in a train station until one is randomly infected and needs to turn fling survivors into zombies. It's a multiplayer game. Recent reviews. No more playing, sad face. Stuck on loading screen. The gameplay was so good, but now the game is dead. Oh no, two hours waiting, the game didn't open. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Uh, well, I think the reviews are correct. It just gets stuck on authorization. So I can't leave a review because I've not played it long enough to review it. Um, but yeah, these are correct. Game does not work anymore. No more playing, sad face. But moving on, game number three. This time we are sorting by, we are sorting by all name. So most likely to be a number or an A or a B. And we are playing game number, give me something low, go on. Not 70 something. Oh my God, it's game number 55. 52, 53, 54, Alan Wake. That's a big old game, you know, Alan Wake. And 55, Alchemist Simulator, £10.99. Okay, so what I'm making, what I'm making? Alchemy is chemicals and stuff, right? It's, oh my God, what is this? Cure, heal, heal, growth, life, death, bane, disease, poison, heat, fire, destruction. Mostly positive reviews, came out in 2020. And you know me, I love a simulator game. I really enjoyed it, can't wait for the next game. Uh, really nice but easy puzzle game. So taking on the role of another student of alchemical arts, taking on the studio of your famous relative, will you ever match his legend? Take the challenge from the most famous alchemist in history. All right, start timer, 10 minutes. Uh, finally, you're here. Didn't your grandpa write to you that this is an urgent matter? Ugh, youngsters these days. Go to what's on the door and accept your first quest. What do you mean he didn't give any specifics? Anyways, you need to start settling in. I'll help you at first, but after that, you're on your own. Okay, I'll do exactly as you say. Lovely. Uh, while your grandpa's away, you'll be working here and hopefully learn a thing or two about being a true alchemist. Go to mailbox on the door and get your first contract. Okay. Uh, beginner's luck. Dear grandson, I'm totally sorry that I couldn't meet you in person. It's a lot of reading, but an entry of a lifetime knocked on my door and I couldn't let you from my fingers. I had to leave for London most hastily and commit. The objective is to get some healing. Um, and there's three days left and I get those rewards. Signed. Wow, this is rude. Passive aggressive. Given your limited mental capacity, whenever you've got a new contract, make a note with a list of required potions and their aspects. What do you mean to make a note where? Get yourself a notebook if you are that stupid or two like me. What an... Why so aggressive? Where do I get a notebook from? I need to get... Those things. I need to learn to use the almanac. Uh, oh. Hello. Read almanac. Uh, it's very powerful magical at all. Lucky your grandpa had time to reset before leaving. So now it's integrated with your aura and will display information directly based on your progress and knowledge. Great, sweet. There's a whole lot of reading. I hate tutorials where it's just reading, 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 reading. I get it, but bloody no, I don't. The cheat sheets remind you how the aspects and processing works. Cool. If you're not already, at least I hope you do, but still let's go over it one more time. On the left, you can see the aspects. As you know, every alchemical ingredient contains them. These aspects belong to one of four branches, purity, corruption, order, chaos, heat, cold, and life, death. Cool. The right-hand side, you can see a simple scheme to remind you of the order in which you can use... Pro I can't be able to read this. It's just, the right-hand side is just the order of how you do things. For example, you can cut an ingredient and then grind it in the mortar, but not vice versa. You can see the arrows, the toast, the processes. Lovely. Here you can upgrade your equipment for the gold that you make while fulfilling contracts. Lovely. So this is, I guess that's the gold there. 890 gold I can make of this one. Here you'll see a list of recipes that you've discovered and the required aspects. Okay. So this, I need to make this healing one. You will need carambola and coal. That's what I need for my first uh, recipe, apparently. Talk to the rat to buy one coal and one carambola. All right. Uh, buy coal and... Once we got, you can sell extra potions that you won't need for any particular contract here for extra cash. All right, it's quite useful, this rat, then. Bloody hell, they, they, I think they went a bit too ham with just uh, the text and stuff. Here is my items, get from shelf. So I need to put a raw camera on the cutting planks. Okay, where are the cutting planks? Uh, 
Uh, yes. Cutting planks. And activate order chaos chain removal. Uh, activate button order chaos. Wow, lovely, beautiful. Just what you wanted. Dry a cut camera at one time to leave it with just, just the clarity aspect. Dry. We'll finish drying in a while. Sweet. Great. Love that. Um, so I just wait. So I just sit here and wait. Not bad. Now you have an ingredient just clarity on it. I mean, it makes sense, right? It's alchemy, so it's going to be a very in-depth, advanced game. Once you know it and you're having fun with it and having some, like... What's the word? Creativity with it. It'd be fun. But right now, I'm just reading and just doing. Right, now I'm taking this and putting it in a cauldron. Oh, it's a sharpening knife there. Where's the cauldron over here, right? There you go. We're now at the hardest part. Onto the coal. We don't need the fire aspect. Cut it out. So we don't need fire from this coal. We need... So we need to cut out the fire. Which is... I'm guessing fire is in the heat, the hot and cold. To try to teach me things already. Yep, yeah, understand. Now, amplify the potency of the coal. Now, amplify the potency of the cut coal by grinding it in the mortar. Sweet, right. Have that, mate. More potent. More potent now it's in the uh, mortar. Great, brilliant. That's uh, cooking over here. Oh, no, it's not actually. It's not activated yet. Put the ground coal into the cauldron. And then we're going to activate it all together. Okay, so now I'm going to wait for it to uh, finish brewing. And I'm going to send it to the rat. See what the rat's saying. Yes! Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Beginner's luck. Here we go. Pick up healing. Here you are, son. Squee. Uh, I, I need to submit potion for the quest. Go upstairs and rest until tomorrow. Where's upstairs? Oh. Wait. Do I get on this ladder? Oh, here. Yeah, this is a staircase. It's much easier, isn't it, really? Skip day. It's quite a nice, wholesome game. It's just a whole lot of reading. All right, so it's a new day. What side do I go to here? I show you. I go here. I can see the quests. So now that I've got some quests to make, I can learn to make a cure disease potion. That sounds fun. So it, it, it cures disease. Got three days to make it. Signed. So. What I would then go here. Okay, so you've got so then you've got to buy ingredients that have these logos in them. Uh, and then take out the other logos. Right? Like coal. I could buy two coal off him and just get rid of the fire aspect from them both. Like so. Delivery box. Let's see if I've actually got understood and learned the game. Um Wait, where's my deliveries? Did it come? Shouldn't it be coal over here now? Oh, my time! No! Where's my coal? Oi, you little rat. Where's the coal? I swear it arrived. Yeah? Yeah, where, where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you over here? How annoying. Why are you over here now? So I want to cut out the hot and cold from them. Let's see if I can do anything right in this game. Wait, I think I did it wrong. I did. I shouldn't. I shouldn't appear in the mortar. Wait, let me see what. It, let me see what it pulls out. I can do it again though. Put it straight in. No potency increase. I don't know where that one went, by the way. I don't think I even got a potion out of that one. It just gave up on me. Yes. Look at me shine. Who needs tutorials? Done. Finished. Do I make peas off that, I guess? So I think the other one just blew up. I just lost it. Okay, well, there we go. That was Alchemist Simulator. It was, it's okay. It's not that bad of a game. It's okay. Can't see much depth in it and much progress for me, but it's okay. Somewhat enjoyed my short stay on the game. <laughs> Okay, game number four time. And this time we are sorting the Steam games out uh, via... Is it... Oh, it's discount again. And we are playing game number... It's high. It's 58. So it's 70s and 50s. Where's like number four? 55, 56, 
57. Next game we're playing, Giant Machines 2017. £2.24, 85% discount. Take control over seven of the biggest industrial machines in the world. During a 40 mission campaign, you'll punch through the snows of Greenland. Plow you know what? I don't hate it. £2.24, let's go. All right, here we go. Giant Machines 2017. A, it's a seven-year-old game, I guess. It's got an epic intro that I can't skip. All right, new game. Um, Your first task is to extract the silicone so we can finish the work on the space shuttle. Unfortunately, our main machine has a small malfunction. Our main machine has a, a small malfunction. The previous operator of the bucket wheel excavator was just fired. I sure hope you can do better. Use the Thug ZM toe to get closer to the field workshop. Okay. So the previous employee has been fired from his job, and it's now my job to uh, do it instead. Let's turn the radio off in case we've got copyright. Release the handbrake would be useful. All right, so a proper simulator game. It's not messing about. Oh my god, that's the machine I'm using. I mean, it is a giant machine. I'm pretty sure like I've seen a documentary on these before. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure. Is there a road? Bloody hell. Right, go to the field workshop. It's out there. So I've got to, I've got to use that. The graphics are, um, they're, they're okay. They're, 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 they're something. It is a long time ago, I guess. Hasn't aged as gracefully as some games. Handbrake on. Uh, and engine off. How does one get out? Okay. Here's the broken wires. Pick up. Oh, they're very solid. Repair. Yes. But these little tiny hydraulic hoses are going to be on that thing. That massive thing. Are you sure? Oh. Well done. I see you're doing great. Hey, try not to die while you're attaching the wires to the actuator 100 meters above the ground. I'll try. I got wait. I got. I... Am I? Am I climbing up there? Okay, so it's 14. I don't mind this game conceptually. It's a proper simulator game. It's unique in concept. Like, yeah, we're going. There's massive giant machines. We've obviously got to fix this one uh, before I can use it. Hopefully I get to use it in this 10 minutes that I've got. It's not trying to die in the process too. All right. At the top, plug in the fixed hydraulic hoses. There we go. Fits like a glove. Our next step requires starting the electromechanical transformers. Go to the main platform and turn them on. Go to the main platform and turn on some... Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're turning up. There's bottles here. There's lots of litter and rubbish. Hold. I'm starting the electromechanical converters. Now, this giant requires proper cooling. Turn on the two main fans using the lever on the back bridge. All right. I've got to use the lever, the lever, on the back bridge. That's down here. Start some fans for cooling. Okay, I can't even jump down. I could do this though. <coughs> nope. I've. Out. Here we go. Turn on fans. Fans started. One. Hey, actually, it's quite, it's quite interesting. Shows what the processes. And run it. Yes. Go to the driver's cabin, start the bucket wheel excavator, and take it to the silicone excavation site. T take it. I I'm driving this thing. They got they've, they've, they've lost their mind. Bucket bucket wheel excavator. Uh, right. Okay. Look at this camera. These are the camera angles you've got. I'm. At least the handbrake. There's a hand like just. Oh my god. We got we <laughs> we travel at a measly three kilometers an hour. We gotta travel 94 meters. Look at us shy, look at us go. And that's the excavator at the end. That's the bucket wheel. A bit slow, isn't it? Oh my god. We're there! We're gonna make it! 
<laughs> my time's gonna run out. You know, at least we got the mission done. Is this whole mission? Does it end? Do I get to use the actual bucket wheel now? Three meters to go. Come on. Yes. Good work. We can start mining tomorrow. No, today. Mission complete. That timing's impeccable. Okay, review time. Uh, I'm honestly flattered uh, that they finally made a game about me. Obviously, because I'm a giant machine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But to complete that tier list, I need to play that final game. Game number five. Let's find out how we're sorting out the Steam store today. We're sorting it out by date added. So a game that I've more recently added to my wish list, which is more promising, hopefully. I say that, I add absolute stinkers all the time. And we are playing game number. Will it be a low number? Will it be a high number? Ooh, it's our lowest number so far. It is number 21. 21, 18, 19, 20. 21, Movie Cinema Simulator, £4.29. Build the most successful cinema business in the world. Okay, now we're talking. Does that just say, does that just say, John Wok, Tello Let. What on earth? Read some reviews for a $5 game. Was it really worth it and fun? Did find some bugs? Okay, cool. Finally, a Movie Cinema Simulator, cheap price and a surprising amount of things to do. Movie Cinema Simulator. So this game came out 8th of March, 2024. So it's our most up-to-date and recent game that we've played today. Melia, finally, you're awake. Come on, we need to hurry up and open our cinema. Melia will teach you how to manage our family cinema. Is that Melia talking? Did she said her name in third person? Did she said it again in third person? Hurry up and follow Melif. Josh will help you, don't worry. Toko Cat. Ika. It's like Ikea. Okay, it's got to be a mobile game ported to PC, right? Pozron. What are these places? All decoration shop. Let's go. What a name for a shop. Toko Plant. Is, is it like Tokyo? Toko Plant, Toko Ceiling. Oh, she's gone in. Hello. These hand animations are very suspicious. I'm not going to lie. Like, what's going on here? What's going on? What are we doing? What are we doing with these hands? Um, hello, Melif? Here we are. Now, let's wait for the customer behind this ticket machine. Sure. Here they come. Please tell the customer. Maybe help you from the back. Bet she will. Uh, ask customers inside the movie. You have to serve them using the ticket machine. Hello. You're waiting. Yep. Age 18. And you want to, you want to watch Terminated. Sure. That seems fine. There you go. Age 32. You want to watch Terminated as well? Sure. There's only three seats in my cinema. Uh, you're too young, my friend, to be watching Terminated. So, see you later. Well, good job. Yeah, it's what I do. Uh, now the customers will walk to the studio and wait for the movie to start. You should check the studio just in case something's broken. Let's go. All right. The projector's broken. Oh my God. Our cinema looks like absolute ass. Is this, we need to fix this up. I little curtain it. Oh my God. How do I fix it? Luckily, we're here. Projector is broken. Try and fix it with a wrench. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, definitely made for phone this game, isn't it? Look. These are all very phone friendly commands. Ooh. There you go, Melif. Good job. That's what I do. We're watching, we're watching the film with them. Oh. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, someone's burnt in lava. The oh, that's a short film. Hmm, there's always this type of customers. They leave food stains everywhere. Ah, need to clean up this, the messes. Don't worry, I've got you. More stains over here, easy XP. Look, this is clean here now, Melif. Well, good. I mean, she's very positive, great teacher. Um. Come follow me to the office. All right. Staff only. What is all these boxes? This obviously you can use. You can use a PC to unlock and upgrade stuff. One of them is the popcorn machine. Let's try unlocking it. All right. Machine. Unlock popcorn machine. Oh, good job. Thanks. <laughs> popcorn machine. Cars will be happier. 
You can also check the news on here as well. I can see what film's coming out. I can check what films are going viral from the news. If you show a trending movie, customers will pay extra money. News. Uh, well, we had the ter Terminated in here. Um, okay, so they have Ice Cream, uh, aka Scream, that Tillalette, which is like Titanic, Lilla Land, which is like La La Land, and is that Terminator? Okay, we only have the Ice Cream movie in our entry, so let's show that movie. You can swap the movie to be scheduled for tomorrow's show. Let's try to do it. Okay. Ow. Change movie. Studio 2 is going to play an ice cream. Studio 1 plays Terminated. Studio 2 plays ice cream. Right, go to sleep. Right, it's a new day. Melif. Oh, you're over, over here. Sorry. How was your sleep? Yeah, it was okay, actually. Um... Now, four show times daily. Check the time often. Cool. Okay, so make sure I'll sell the tickets before the show. Cool. Tutorial completed. I've got 20 grand. Um, right, let's go walk to cinema again. I mean, luckily I live so close by. I've got 20 grand to my name. Um, I can't go in there yet. This is my cinema that I own and operate and run by myself. Uh, no customers here yet. Can I fix up the walls and stuff? It's all a bit of a mess in here. I don't really like all the mess. Not available yet. Got toilets in here. Is this Studio 2? Yep. Yeah. There's a popcorn machine. Oh, customer. This is how I check the time. Okay, so look, you can see that the uh, posters have changed on the wall. Hello, um, you're age 13 and you want to watch Scream and you can watch it, there you go. Uh, you want to watch it too, you can. Um, you can watch that. Uh, age 13, no, you can't watch that, sorry mate. Too young for that, too young. You're good. Uh, you're fine. Uh, you're also fine. Oh yeah, uh, yep. Studio's full. Uh, can I put you? I can put you on to the next. Uh, I can't. You can't watch it. Sorry, mate. Come back. Can I make you come back another time? I can skip time. Just... Movie time. They're watching this one. Uh, and then they're watching this one. Checks is both working, I believe. No issues. Wait, they've got, they were late arriving. Now they're all fine. What are I doing now? I'm gonna look at some upgrades. Did they buy any popcorn? Um, studio. I can upgrade the studios to more seats. That'd be nice. Yeah, give them five seats instead. Um, no, give them more seats. Cause we had loads of customers in there and we couldn't do anything with them. And then change movies. That's that one's locked currently. Machines. You buy a soda machine. That make them happier. Um, can't get that yet. Cinema area. Male toilets. I can upgrade. I can upgrade my office. I can upgrade the lobby. Wait, what? The fuck? Someone's graffitiing in my cinema. Excuse me, brother. Get here. Get here! Oh, I'll try to a wrench next time. Get out! Ah, oh. who do you think he is? Oh, that, the film's almost ended, so I need to go in my uh, room in a second. Sure. Oh no! The game, the timer ended. I'm not finished. How do I pick that up? Use popcorn bag. Where's the bin? Where's the trash can? I don't invest in a trash can. Oh my god, the queue's so long. No, 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 no. Hang on, I'm not done. I'm supposed to put that somewhere. Right, hello. Ticket machine. Uh, too young. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. 
So young. So young. Uh, too young. You're fine. Actually a decent game. <laughs> it, that, that, it feels like a mobile game that's been ported up to PC. Actually a surprisingly fun little game. So let's sort out what games we like the most. So first off, I think the worst game was a game that didn't obviously work, Pandemic Express. It didn't work. It's an old game that no longer has servers or online and you can't even get to the main menu. It just authorizes. Uh, next up, I'm going to go for Alchemist Simulator. Dragged on a little bit and a bit dry, but still pretty good fun if you wanted it to be. Is it the apartment game, actually, the horror game actually felt pretty good. And all three of these games were okay, like genuinely okay. Um, that was 85p as well, good value for money. This one was more expensive. Um, Ugh. I mean, horror games are easy to make, but they actually felt decent for what it was. It's got to be, this has got to be, this got to be third. That, I put, am I putting a horror game number one? I, am I really putting a horror game number one? I think, I couldn't even find the button to progress it to the next part. It just, the game felt like it was okay. This, I'm only putting this here because it, it was fun. I wonder how much like longevity really does have. It's like a simple like mobile game that you can progress through. I'm gonna leave it at that. You let me know what you thought the best game out of the five was. Um, and if there's any games there you would like to see me play again in the future. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the concept as well. I like just playing five different random games. It's quite a fun little concept. Leave a like on the video uh, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.